no. Ooh, that's better, right, babe? Yeah. Yeah. She founded an architectural concrete company. He founded a hundred million dollar clothing company. She took the world by storm as a social media star. He took the world by storm as a famous serial entrepreneur. Together we started a business. And had babies. Now we're figuring out the best ways to do both. Join us as we learn from other entrepreneurs going through the same life struggles. As they share their life hacks about success, love, kids. And everything in between. person may enjoy outstanding success without good health. Quote by Napoleon Hill. Welcome to this Pretty and Punk episode. My name is Dan Caldwell and I'm here with my wife. Ildiko Ferenzi. We're so happy to be here. Yes, we are happy to be here. We're, we're, we're happy to be doing an episode and we're happy to have our health today. We wanted to do a do a little show on health because we've been dealing with some some uh, health challenges in our family, both on her side and my side, and uh, we just thought it was important that 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 you know, as entrepreneurs, we we tend to forget our health. We tend to put it last on the on the scale. And I know that many times I'm I'm usually the last person to go to sleep and the first person up, so I'm living on three or four hours of sleep sometimes. And you have to take care of yourself because you can only run that so long like that before your body just gives up. That's right. And I feel like as entrepreneurs, we get we're kind of known for being uh, workaholics, maybe. And um, and I know for myself, for years, having an immigrant mother that kind of made me feel like if I sit for too long, or I sleep for too long, I'm being lazy because she sacrificed so much to come, you know, to to bring us to this country and give us this opportunity and this amazing life in a country that has all this opportunity. I feel like I overdid it with, with work. And, and when my vision of fitness was to work out heavy and, um, and, and show off the results, of course, you want to show the success of you know, the eight pack and, and the muscles, but I wasn't taking care of my health in other ways. Now, as parents, um, it's more important than ever to take care of your health. And that means everything. That's not just getting the abs, getting the muscles, getting, you know, no, it's your sleep. Arms. It's everything it's, that you have. I mean, everything. we're taught, everybody says, you know, it's about, we always talk about the hustle, you know, everybody mm. wants to hustle. And, and hustle is important. Don't get me wrong. I believe that hustle is what made us both successful because we hustled our asses off. But at some point, at the, you at also At the same have to time, I got hella sick. Yeah. And we'll talk about it that. It caught up with her. It caught up with me. And I was young. I was healthy. Magazine covers, all kinds of crazy stuff. So Dan just had his 50th birthday and... Um, and I know, of course, you know, as a mom, breastfeeding, and then one baby wakes up that's got the knee pains, and I'm not getting enough sleep right now. And and we'll we'll go down the list in a minute, and I'll tell you where I'm going to be honest. I'll tell you where I'm kind of failing, and and I think that this not failing, but I'm going to learn about my my process right now. Um, and and uh, and Dan too, like I'm like, dude, we got to change some stuff. Because I think because I think we've always eaten good, mm-hmm. and and we and we actually eat better probably than most. And yeah. we, because we really are are it's a part of what we do. We always it it's it's part of our focus. Mm-hmm. And well, uh, especially since I got pregnant with my first baby, I knew that I, I was doing a lot of research and reading, and I knew that my taste buds are going to become my children's taste buds. So I was really good at eating all healthy. But yeah, for but the I think I think by I vicariously I ate through you because you you were eating good. So mm-hmm. I tended to watch what I was eating because I'm eating we're making dishes and eating together. We're going to the same places to eat. Yeah. So um so it was it was very intentional in the way that we were trying to eat better for 
for the babies um, because we knew she was carrying the, the babies and we wanted her to eat really well. And then, of course, uh, Afterwards. I'm eating I'm eating better, too. Yeah. And I think we just it started to become more part of the conversation. Yeah. Don't yeah. you think? Yeah. But I'm definitely I feel a little more strict on myself, like the green juice. I don't when I, I have a green I drink a lot since I got sick. I've been drinking green juices a lot. And I feel like food is really, um, it's medicine. So. Absolutely. So um, <laughs> it, that being said. It's a living medicine. It, and It's living medicine. Like right now, I think all a part of my diet, like right now I'm taking these um, these powdered greens too. Well, I was just going to say, did you take your, did you drink your yeah, green juice Yeah, of course today? I take it every day. So the green juices that I drink every day, it's fresh green juices. But it's kind of harsh, and he's a little bit of a baby. No, like the kids well, will drink it because they've got my taste buds. Tell the truth, baby. Babe. The babies what? will drink. The no, juice it's, not baby. it's called hard and harsh. But Dan, um, and, and well, it's funny. Hard greens. Hard it's like, greens. It's called hard greens. Like I don't so, have the. Fr he needs a pear or an apple. And I found this this um, nice brand, All Max Naturals. And it's the Cyto Greens, and it's really nice because it's got all this stuff that, it, and more so because it's got the energy, liver defense, all this, this spirulina, amazing, spinach, yeah, be, barley grass, barley grass, yeah, just all the things greens. that you might not normally have in your in in your green juice. But it and, doesn't taste harsh, so he's able to drink it, which is really nice. And then I can have it on top of my stuff. I think uh, it's like an acai berry, so but it also acai. has the green. Yeah. But so it has a little bit of um, a taste to it, but it, you know, I mean, I I love it because it doesn't hurt my stomach and it doesn't make me feel upset at all, and it gives me energy throughout the day. So I like I like to have something like that. It's easy for me to do. That's something that's easy for me to do, you know. And I can pack uh, it in. I put it in a little baggie. I pack it in my bag, and, and then I can do I it every day. Them, yeah, I make. And them then and then of course we we. We eat well. We always eat. Try to eat always organic. Mm -hmm. And uh, and right now we kind of lean towards keto, even though I Wait, wouldn't say we're like straight keto. Yeah, I mean keto had a lot to do with my healing process. But if I can't have keto all the time, that's that's okay. You it's know, keto in the way that we try not to have hard. sugar. Exactly, sugar for many diseases is like gasoline on a fire and on a fire free. and real quick before i forget the all max naturals cytogreens i'm gonna put a link at the bottom so you guys can tap into it if you want and give it a try for yourself yeah it's so good so easy to do too yeah so if you're starting out you don't have to jump right to the harsh green juices take that and i think you'll be happy with it give it a try I know that Dan's really happy with it. I'm happy with it. So it's definitely something to try. And another thing, I'm originally Canadian. I love Canadian products. It's a Canadian product and it has been rigorously tested. I know there's a lot of, what is it, press about certain brands that many of us have loved in the past. Uh, they found some stuff in it, some not very good stuff, but you can sleep easy knowing that this has been rigorously tested and it's scientifically proven. Is so it, she that checked is that all, all out for Max. me. Yeah. See, she, she don't let me eat I'm anything. Very protective. She's wa always watching out Everybody for in the family, I am so protective. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, she's overdoing it. But even with the kids, maybe sometimes, sometimes people are like, oh, it. you know what? You don't let the kids have any fun. But I feel like Daniel now, as he's getting older, and sometimes I'll let him, you know, because people are like, oh, I'm going to give you cake or cupcake. Your mom's no fun. And he'll take like one or two bites and he's done because his taste buds are trained. So I feel very proud of that. And when he's older, maybe he might get, he's never had a Cheeto or anything like that in his life. I was just <laughs> nope. thinking that. <laughs> but, but he, oh you know, we'll have like, so there's some like keto desserts and stuff that we like to have that are gluten-free. I mean, gluten-free Keto, low sugar. Or dried fruit, like that kind of stuff. I, I, you know what? Since I got sick, I just look at life different. Well, I you look can, at like, you know, you can always look at everything. If you look through everything through a lens that you're trying to be 
um, healthier, mm -hmm. then you can look at just about any menu and go, okay, how can I eat more healthy? Well, obviously, if you're in the right places, you know, there's mm -hmm. places you can go to that I'm probably the whole menu is probably not very good for you. Mm -hmm. But if you if you go to good places and you look through a, a, the lens that I'm going to try to eat healthy, you can find healthy things just about anywhere. Mm -hmm. And especially since if you're looking for gluten free and low sugar, um, you know, those are you can always look at the back of any product in, in the store and, and look for those things. So if you're just intentional, and that's what we've been more lately, yeah. is being more intentional and trying to find products that we really love and start to use those products. And for and, myself, I try to really focus and my kids understand that <laughs> anything that it's God's candy is fruit and the vegetables. And we try to eat as raw and close to its natural state as possible. like whole foods. That's, that's a huge part of my healing journey. Um, yeah. And I think too, if you have, if, if you have new kids, younger kids, I should say new kids, <laughs> if you haven't, if you just bought a kid, no, if you, uh, <laughs> if you have younger kids, starting them out that way mm -hmm. is so much easier than trying to backtrack. Yeah. And it, I mean, you can slowly backtrack that's Absolutely. possible and you start to lean into a new diet. Yeah, but if you can start from right the beginning that, that way, tracking. it makes it so much easier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because our kids, they don't know sugar because they've never been introduced to it. Oh my gosh, it. do you remember Daniel's first photo shoot like when he was one year old <laughs> and we bought him a cake? Don't you remember this at the photo shoot? And well, we were trying to make it. him have some of the cake just for the photos and he was crying like his taste buds yeah, he just, just didn't he doesn't it. like i mean he even if he mm -hmm. had a bite of something we've given him some bites some um, somebody had a they had a little party and uh they asked him if he wanted a cupcake and they gave him a cupcake he ate like two bites of it and he was done you know it's just like he just didn't want anymore yeah. so he thought it was too it was too sweet yeah so that's well, I found you found treasure <laughs> awesome Okay, can you get Destiny and bring her in here and close the door? Hurry, <laughs> We're try, hurry, go. I'm trying to do a podcast, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so definitely, guys, don't get trapped. I got trapped in the, the wormhole where it was just really trying to prove, you know, as I said, with the immigrant mother, it's very important for me always to be successful and, and, and then, and then, you know, showing no, no, off my you're, you're, fitness gains, but I didn't, I didn't pay attention to downtime. And guys, that is just as important to your fitness journey and your health journey, your downtime. So, I mean, just trying to, you know, it's like, we all feel like we have to hustle. Don't feel like you, if you need some time off that you can't take some time off because we all do. We all need to recover. Our bodies need to recover and we need to be eating the best that we can so that, that we can show up at our best. And especially as you start to get older, it's, uh, she just told you that I'm getting older. And uh, now that we've let that cat out of the bag, I wasn't going to like tell everybody, but I guess apparently we are. So now everybody knows the cat's out of the bag. I think when I woke up, like when you, when you turn 50, you like wake up and you you start thinking about hey I, I'm on the back side of this thing here, and don't think like that. No, you I know, but you positive. have to. Yeah, but you have to. Of course, I'm thinking positive, and I'm thinking that I need to be eating. You know, I need to watch the way I eat. I need to be exercising more, and especially with this pandemic thing going on. Because of the pandemic, we weren't able to. Our gym wasn't letting you work out without a mask. And it was, uh, yet yeah, everybody, is, it, uh, so there were only limited machines outside. And it was, it was a mess here in LA. You know, so it was, we couldn't have the same type of workout routines that we had. So we felt like, I just felt well, like for our myself, workouts weren't as good. For myself, I haven't had the same workout routine since my first, no, 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 my second baby, because I ended up getting really sick after Destiny but all the way till the last day of the, the, the pregnancy, I was in the gym working out. But after it was harder and I realized I was really, really, really sick. And then I had to have that life-saving surgery where they said, you can't even pick up your baby, your newborn baby for six months. Well, and work out. Yeah, so I had to find other things to do. I was doing yoga. I didn't work out for the longest time. I started learning about breathing. I didn't do breathing techniques and stuff like that yeah. before, but I started learning this stuff. And Dan, 
I'm really forcing him to get on my bandwagon because I know how how powerful that is. And guys, just just look it up. There's one thing that I do, and we'll talk about the morning routines. I think we need to dedicate an entire episode to morning routine and evening routine, winning the day, winning the night. I think that that's I'm really important. I'm horrible at that stuff. But I'm forcing him, you know, he it's it's okay. Well, like, because I just want to get up and time. start going. And, you know, and I'd see, I get that it's important. And I see when I do that stuff, it makes me better. But, but you also didn't else, so. almost die, right? right? So I'm forcing I him I before something sometimes. like that. Yeah, so that makes you, that's God's way of saying, hold on, a little bit too much ego. You know, you are human. Yeah. <laughs> You're human. And don't forget that. And the truth is, guys, you just don't want it to get to that point. No, no, no. God, I, I would not even mm. on my worst enemy, and I don't have any enemies, but like, you know, just I would not wish that journey upon anyone, but in a way it's a blessing because it made me, you know, learn all these different things. As I said, the breathing, the meditation, the vis- visualization, the affirmations, all this stuff. Now the other big blessing, because I have to do these things and I've got two little babies by my side during this healing process. What do they do? They do everything that I do. And I can see the change in them. And another thing that we, you know, choose to not do in Dan's kind of like, I don't watch anything negative at all. So <laughs> Dan always hears this slack because he's watching news and doing research for hey, one of his other companies. Little, but he's waking I, up I in the middle of the night. A little bit. Yeah, he wakes hey. up in the middle of the night having nightmares. Help me. <laughs> Yes, you do ask the kids. I do not. What are you talking about? Oh my it's gosh. not help me. It's like. So I, we're going to I'm get a, Dan I'm an to a Zen officer, place. So I go back to my life as a police officer. I'm in like the middle of a pursuit. Which is why you should really welcome meditation. There was, and that, there was that time I woke up in the middle life. of the night and help I punched me. her in the face. Yeah, you did. <laughs> This is when we were dating, and that was like the last. I'm like, I'm never seeing this guy again. Well, now we have oh to tell boy. them the story. No, we're gonna I'm not run gonna tell over. that story. I can't tell them that story. I just he I had a up. nightmare, and he was. Cu- I'm like, this is the first time. Like, I just, you know, I, I woke I, up in the I, middle I was of having the night. a hard no, time I was, trusting. I, was in the I didn't want to start dating. I was dealing with no. a lot of stuff, and. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to let no. this guy hold me for the night. So he's holding me. No. And then I wake up to someone uh, There was a zombie attack. The and they were trying. I was trying he to hold the door closed. The and they were I trying to come to through that. the door. And I went to punch one of the zombies. And apparently I did it for real. And I Again, I example. Do not, do not watch negative <laughs> things. Do not let negative I, things I, into your life. Yeah. People. I stopped watching TV The Walking shows, Dead after that. <laughs> news. <laughs> no more Walking Dead for me. Awful. I was done. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you guys for listening in. Um, uh, you know, I hope you guys aren't going through these same challenges in your life. I hope that you guys are nice and healthy. Make sure you keep it that way by by taking care of yourself because it is important for and all we're of us still, entrepreneurs. We're still learning so many things and we'll get into that IV treatments, all that other stuff. And we have a lot of great experts that we're going to interview and talk to and uh, even talk about the effects of the babies and, and the babies growing. I know all this stuff is really important and I'm so excited for these upcoming episodes with our professionals that we get to talk to. But I'm so excited for this this journey that Dan has agreed to for his full health. For the backside of my life. Don't say that. <laughs> I just, it's the Stop truth. Stop it. Okay. Well, thank you guys for tuning in and we will catch you guys on the next one. We love you. God bless you. Thank you guys for listening to this episode of the Pretty and Punk podcast. Listen up, guys. We want to share you guys. We're so grateful for all your incredible ratings and reviews. And I know you guys just did that out of the, you know, you guys felt called to share that with people that you love and rave about the show. Well, we're encouraging you guys, please put your Instagram handle, your social media handle on there so that we can share it on our, on our stories, your beautiful reviews. And we know how hard it is to get the momentum out there on social media. So I know this helps a lot for you guys. And you guys can find us at 
Connect with us at prettyandpunk.com or on Instagram at Pretty and Punk Podcast. And, be, and, and just so you know, we share that with all our kids and they love hearing those. So we really appreciate it. Thank you guys for listening today and we will catch you on the next one. Thank you for listening to the Pretty and Punk Podcast. Don't forget to wait. We wait and we'll feel we love you guys.